Hello everybody, how are you? Hope you're fantastic. Uh, this week, a little trip down memory lane, bit of nostalgia for me personally, as we get all French and we look at my lag imperator. Spoiler warning, there are pictures of me with hair in this video. <laughs> So this is my Lag Imperator from about 2006, 2007, something like that. Lag are a French guitar brand who I've known since the early 2000s when I started using what was called their Roxanne models, which were like double cutaway models. They've always really catered for left-handed players and when they brought out the Imperator model, they made me one and I was very appreciative. I went on to use it a hell of a lot, which we'll talk more about in a bit as to how it's fared, etc. The spec itself is a beautiful looking guitar. The top, it's called Spolt Maple. It's quite funny that when this guitar came out, it was the first time I'd ever seen a, a guitar look like this. I was totally blown away by it. Then about 18 months, a year, 18 months later, there was loads of guitar companies doing Spolt Maple tops. You know, it was a bit of a phase that a lot of the companies went through. But like I say, it was the first time I'd ever seen it. Um, the hardware has aged somewhat because it's been used so much, but it's, it's okay. I think it adds to the look of the guitar. Also, the sort of the the lines that you get in the maple there, the, a lot of the black lines have sort of bled slightly with all the sweat and gunk that sort of gone through the top of this, and I think it looks really nice. I think it adds to it. Uh, you've got a master tone pot on this, and you've got two volumes, one for each of the pickups, and then in there in each of the volumes is a coil tap, which is good rather than having one coil tap for both pickups, you've got uh, you've got two. So you've got one for each, so you can just uh, pick up configurations are great in that sense. Pickups in this are Dimasios. Um, they're quite dark. Uh, in the back, in the bridge, it's a tone zone. In the front, I can't remember what that is. Um, but I think they've, they've always sort of suited the sound of the guitar. Having said that, having used it quite a lot today, I remember how much I really do enjoy playing this guitar. I might swap them out and then we'll do a revisit on this at some point. The uh, fretboard is ebony and the neck and the back on this are mahogany. And I don't know if you can see, I'll try and show it on the close-ups, but the, you know, the body and the neck just aren't as thick as a Les Paul. It just feels a little more playable, the whole thing. It sits a little bit closer to you. The neck width is so nice. The depth of it is great. And it's just a very playable guitar. Uh, the tuners on here are still nice and smooth after all these years. And they still, like, it all still stays in tune. And it's a brilliant guitar, which I still very much love. You can still find some of these online. When I had a look on this in the secondhand market, you know, there's still a few floating around. There's some of the more entry level uh, imperators that you can get. This is one of the higher end ones. They're a little bit harder to come by. You can, however, get like acoustics from lag. That's probably what they're best known for. They really put all of their resources into acoustic guitars sort of over the last 10 years. But there's, you know, if you have a look around, you can still find a few electrics. I managed to find a left-handed one, but it was, it was sold, it was out of stock. Um, but it's worth having a look. So I've used this guitar so much over the years, especially when I first got it, sort of 2006, 2007. Um, it became my sort of go-to live guitar for a long time. Uh, that and my 
that and my tobacco best les paul at that time sort of the mid 2000s uh onwards till about 2000 and i don't know whenever um i use it i use this guitar on everything man you know it's seen all the hairstyles it's seen all the gigs you know what i mean um using it primarily in a lot of the live marshall shows with rob and farad when we were going out doing those um i use it a lot with wasted when we did a lot of um touring and stuff uh, i've got to say this this point you know i was sad to see that pete way left us last year a lot of good memories from being in wasted so uh pete was uh, one of life's true originals that's for sure um so yeah and it's fed really well man this guitar has been brilliant to me the only thing i had issues with and this was you know a bit of a, a, a recurring problem was the um selector switch here where obviously it gets quite a lot of um usage should we say and i had quite a lot of problems with it cutting out intermittently but they were always great they would send me um you know spares and stuff like that and like i said really looked after me michelle if you're watching this man please get in touch i haven't spoken to you in so long um so yeah i you know there's very little wrong with it the frets have worn slightly i don't plan on getting it refretted there's a whole bunch of dings and dents in this thing and to top it all off uh someone scribbled all over the back of it you know uh in 2008 but i didn't mind that so much um so yeah this is uh you know a truly great guitar great attention to detail from the lovely folk at lag i i genuinely if you can get hold of one i suggest checking one out All right, that's nearly it. A um, couple of things before we go though. I, in the lead up to making this video, I actually found a video on YouTube from uh, Frankfurt Music Messe in 2011, where I did an interview with Premier Guitar about this very guitar. I'll put a link to it, go check it out. We're also, the Lefty Guitar channel is on Instagram and Twitter if you fancy following. And this week's recommended listening is an album from 1989 by the band Giant. The album is called Last of the Runaways. The guitarist and singer Dan Huff, absolute legend. If you've never heard of him, where have you been? He now does a lot of producing. He doesn't really do much uh, live stuff anymore. Does a lot of session stuff, blah, blah, blah. But if you want uh, great songs, great guitar playing, uh, go check it out because it is an absolutely brilliant album. One that I still listen to now for inspiration. So, uh, so there you go. I hope you've had fun today and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.